Hi, I'm Alex Flannery from the College of Pharmacy, and I focus on sepsis and acute kidney injury for my research at the University of Kentucky. I'm actually a clinician by training, so I'm a pharmacist. I went to pharmacy school here at the university, completed two years of postgraduate training in critical care, and was actually a clinician in the intensive care unit for six years full-time before I decided to make the transition to research. We know a good amount about drugs in you know, the healthy general population. We know far less about those drugs in the intensive care unit patients and, and all of the comorbidities and acute issues that they have. So that was really an interest for me early on. We kept seeing diseases like sepsis and acute kidney injury that, that while we can provide supportive care for patients, we don't necessarily have cures for them. And so that really became an interest to try to understand those better uh, from the path of physiology about what's going on, what possible treatments could we use? Are there any current medications that we might be able to repurpose to treat those kinds of conditions? And so sepsis is basically when you get an infection and your body's immune system reacts very poorly to it. And, and by definition, it is a, it is a life-threatening event. When you also have kidney injury with that, that's really the disease that we're interested in studying. And so we, we do our research with, with actual patients that have sepsis and that have acute kidney injury. Sometimes that research involves looking at what happens to these patients and risk factors they may have. Sometimes it involves getting biospecimens from them and looking at different things to see if we can understand mechanisms better. And sometimes it involves giving those patients medicines, either within the context of a clinical trial or otherwise and seeing how certain changes happen. Right now, we're interested in the role of a, of a complex hormonal system called the renin-angiotensin system in sepsis-associated acute kidney injuries. What we're working on right now is actually collecting specimens from patients that have sepsis and kidney injury and, and looking at this complex profile of the system. And so the analogy I make is kind of like a Rubik's cube. You have it perfectly set up and this disease comes along and sort of twists it all out of order. And so we're looking to see exactly what those alterations are in that complex profile. And then the second part of that is if we give a drug, does it shift back the right way? Does it shift back the wrong way? So that particular system is what we're focused on right now within the context of sepsis and kidney injury. From the clinical side, I'll work with intensive care unit physicians, uh, kidney doctors. On the laboratory side, I'll, wo I'll work with researchers that have expertise in laboratory assays, that have expertise in preclinical models, making sure that we have all of the necessary tools and expertise around the table to study these complex issues is a challenge, but I think that that aspect of executing the team science is also my favorite. The best advice that I usually give to students is that it's sort of 80% of the effort is, is in the preparation phase. And I think the part that everybody really likes about writing your results and talking about your results is really only sort of, you know, the last quarter mile, if you will. Even if your study doesn't end up in the newspaper, the findings, I think you should be able to sell your method and, and let that really be the energy which drives your research project. There is a lot of synergy between UK healthcare and between the university. So healthcare can learn from research just as much as research can learn from healthcare. And I think, you know, being able to, to see patients and study patients in a way that is five to 10 minutes away from research space, I think really facilitates the type of infrastructure that you need in addition to the collaboration. What really kept me here was really the multidisciplinary nature of care at the hospital. So as a pharmacist, I got to work with physicians and nurses and lots of other healthcare professionals to really optimize the care for patients. And that, that focus of the team on improving outcomes, I think is very apparent in the research setting as well, which has really helped me and been beneficial for me in my transition.